Here's what you're going to need to make my Southern sweet tea. Now, obviously you're gonna need tea bags. And I don't care what brand you like, it's fine. We're gonna start with these two large family size tea bags. I also like to throw in two small English breakfast teas because I think it has just a little bit of depth of flavor. Again, you choose your brand. Now, you need sugar to make sweet tea, but we're trying to be better with our sugar intake. So what we're gonna do is we're going to be bringing in some stevia and mixing the sugar. So we're gonna do a quarter cup of each. My last secret ingredient, we're gonna throw in a teaspoon of my homemade vanilla extract to also give a little depth of flavor. Now the equipment you're gonna need, you need a mason jar or a pitcher. Today we're making a half gallon, so two quarts. And you're going to need a saucepan and a slotted spoon. So let's go ahead and get started, shall we? This process is so simple. First off, let's get that pot filled with water. Now, I know how much water to add because obviously I've made this before, but all you need to do is fill your pitcher or your mason jar and pour just a hair more than you normally um, would fill it into this pot and that'll get you your measurement exactly. Let's get that pot onto the stove and turn it up to high heat and get that water boiling. All right, our water has come to a full boil. Now, before I put the tea bags in, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it down just a hair and I'm gonna add my sugars. Now, I'm gonna add them slowly because see how that kind of flames up there, like bubbles up when I'm adding something to it? But now it's settling down. All right, we've got our sugars in. Let's give that a good stir. I wanna make sure all those sugars have dissolved. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our tea bags in, but we're going to turn it off. We're gonna turn the flame completely off. Let's get all our tea bags. We're gonna pop them in here. And we're gonna set the timer on our microwave. For three minutes. Now when the timer goes off, we're going to scoop those bags out of the water. I want to make sure that they're fully submerged. We're going to scoop them out. Do not squeeze the tea bags. That will make your tea bitter. So we just want to let this steep for a good three minutes in that hot water that has been turned off. While we're waiting for the tea bags to steep, let's go ahead and get the chilling down process ready. So we're gonna fill a clean sink. Make sure your sink is clean with water. But we only want it to come up about half height of the pan because if you make it a full height, what's gonna happen? You have buoyancy. Your pan is gonna float and it'll tip over and you'll lose all your tea. So we're only gonna fill it about I'm gonna say about two and a half inches full. The timer is about to go off. All right, let's fish those tea bags out. As you can see, we have a pretty colored tea there. 
Now what we need to do is get this over into our sink with the cold water. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna move this pan and place it right down into that sink. I almost filled my sink too much. Look at that. Again, ideally, half full would be best. I went a little bit higher than that, didn't I? All right. I think it'll be fine, though, as long as I keep it pretty steady. Well, let's go ahead and get the ice into the water. And if need be, in a few minutes, we'll come back and fill up more ice and put that in there as well. And once the tea starts to cool down, that's when we'll add our little secret ingredient, our teaspoon of vanilla extract. But we don't want to do it when it's hot. And why is that? Because it will just cook off. We won't even get that vanilla flavor in there that we're trying to go for to kick this up just a hair. So we're going to let this cool and we'll be back. Notice all the steam that's coming out of that pot. And that's because the bottom of the pot is cooler because it's in the cooler water and all of the heat is rising to the top. So let's just help this along with some more ice. The steam is good. And that means our tea is cooling quickly. And that's what we want. The reason we do this is if you just let it cool on its own, we become bitter. You want to let this cool as quickly as you can. You can use as much ice as you need in this process. You can speed this along as much as you need to. Um, you're not going to hurt the tea, but the idea here is to not let it start to just cool in the air because if, it, if you didn't add the cold water and ice to it, again, it would become bitter. Just to demonstrate how cool this tea already is, look, I can touch the pan. The pan is no longer hot. That means my tea is coming along really nicely. And this has only been about a minute and a half to two minutes. Again, my ice is just about gone. I could add a little bit more, but as the steam starts to slow, then I know I'm completely cool enough to be able to add my vanilla and pour it into my jar. Now everyone knows the real secret to having sweet tea come out just right is to give it a little taste. So we're just going to come in and see how our mixed sweetener half and half actually tastes. The tea is nice and it is sweet. It's going to be beautiful with just that teaspoon of vanilla added. By the way, look how much the steam has slowed now. And I can tell you by tasting the tea, it's cooled off enough for me to go ahead and pour into my jar in just a minute. So let's go ahead and get that teaspoon of vanilla added, and then we'll get a clean spoon and give it one more taste. Just gonna stir it around. spoon. Let's come in and see what that vanilla did to that. That's beautiful tea. That's going to be so good and it isn't hot to my tongue at all. And notice the steam has stopped. So let's go ahead and get it poured into our jar. I like to use this little gadget, a wide mouth, uh, a wide mouth funnel whenever I'm pouring anything into a jar. It makes life so much easier. We can go ahead and get this in and I'm going to pour in the sink. See why I do it in the sink? Because I'm a little messy and I know it. There's my tea. I'm going to be able to take that out, set that aside. 
And here we have it. Let's get a cover on that. And now we can put this right into the refrigerator. It's a little warm to the touch, but safe enough to go into the fridge. Thanks for watching. For the love of food.